Dr. Parsa Mohebi from Parsa Mohebi Hair Restoration. I want to tell you everything you need to know about simultaneous extraction placement FUE hair transplant. Simultaneous extraction and placement has been uh, going on for a couple of years now. Now in our uh, Parsa Mohebi Hair Restoration, we exclusively do simultaneous extraction and placement. We don't believe that any graft should be sitting out waiting for the sites to be made or, or for them to be placed. We have to have the sites ready and the graft has to go in as soon as they can. So we've been doing more and more of these and we came up with the best method of doing simultaneous extraction and placement. I've been uh, a you know, faculty going around and teaching other doctors in um, many international seminars, teaching them how to do simultaneous extraction and placement in FUE hair transplantation. So at the beginning of the procedure, we do um, injection of local anesthesia. We make all those uh, you know, done after that, we start with, um, the next step is that we uh, start uh, making sites. So we make little holes in uh, places that grafts has to be placed. We, we decide on direction, distribution, even curvature of the hair at the beginning of the day as we are making the holes. The next step is that we start extracting the grafts as the extraction gets started, placement gets started a few minutes after. As soon as the first batch of uh, grafts are counted and sorted, uh, sorted, we start placing them. Uh, at that point, we have like three or four people constantly working together, uh, strategically you know, positioning themselves for, to extract the grafts, remove them, uh, and then place them back into the holes that we already made at the beginning of the day. So we realized that as we extract the grafts, we can uh, make the size that the design of the grafts could be done beforehand. So when I'm uh, extracting the grafts, my technicians can start placing the grafts into the pre-made sites. That's why we came up with the idea of Mohebi Implanter. So I in, in, uh, invented this device that we can slide the grafts into and insert them into the holes one at a time as the extraction is, is ongoing. So basically there are four, three or four people constantly working on the patient's head. At the beginning of the day after local anesthesia, I start making sites. So I design every single hole that the grafts has to go into. And then when we remove the grafts, as we are removing them, the placement will get started probably five or 10 minutes after the beginning of extraction. So we have extraction, I'm ex uh, excising the grafts one at a time. One of my technicians collects the excised grafts, another technician counts and sorts them under microscope, put the group of one, twos, and trees in different piles, and two technicians start removing those extracted grafts and sorted grafts and start placing them into the holes that we already made at the beginning of the day. So we do simultaneous extraction and placement to preserve the quality of grafts, to make sure the, the viability of grafts are maintained and the grafts start growing as soon as possible after placement because they're not stressed out, they're not sitting out of the body, they're not dehydrated or uh, being uh, you know, prone to the temperature or change of the temperature. Uh, many patients see the result faster. So usually with hair transplant procedure, a lot of grafts lose the hair shafts on the grafts and start growing after a couple of months. But more and more these days we see the grafts that are placed they are start growing immediately after procedure. Still, many patients experience the initial shock loss, but we see more than before that patients have a chance to start growing right after the procedure.